the equation on the previous slide can be rewritten as you can see here on this slide. And this equation now comes directly from the North Test Guide. And also we are using throughout this explanation the terminology and the symbols that are used directly in the North Test Guide. So the URW component takes into account the long-term random effects and it is actually the same thing as within lab long-term reproducibility which we have seen already in a previous lecture. And secondly, the U bias takes into account the possible systematic effects in, in long term. And uh, it is also interesting and important to note that this equation now can be used both with absolute and with relative values. And whether we use absolute values or whether we use relative values, we have to determine based on the concrete situation. And this uh, situation arises from the fact that the standard uncertainty that we find according to this approach is by itself not linked to any particular measurement result. In fact, we assign it to a result that we want to present to our customer. Whether we use absolute or relative quantities depends on several things. But let me give you a rule of thumb which one to use. And the rule of thumb goes as follows. If your concentrations, if the contents of the analyte in the sample are very low, so you are working near the detection or near the quantification limit, then uncertainty is not very much dependent on the analyte level. And then absolute quantities are more appropriate. If, however, you work at medium concentrations or at high concentrations, then you uncertainty in chemical analysis very often is roughly proportional to the analyte level. This proportionality usually is not uh, strict. So if you look at the uncertainties at different concentration levels, then they differ slightly. But nevertheless, the relative uncertainty stays more or less constant, while the absolute uncertainty increases with increasing concentration. And the general rule here would be, whichever is more constant is better to use, meaning if we change in concentration, the absolute uncertainty remains constant, then you should use absolute uncertainties. If we change in concentration, the relative uncertainty remains constant, then you should use the relative uncertainty.